we've been talking about whether we would want a house in the future. We don't think. We can't see ourselves going back. No. So today we're going into the marina for five months. Oh, bye bye cut. We're back. We are back. Where have we been? I don't know. Been in here for five months. Been hibernating. And it's flown by, hasn't it? I know. We've just been watching that little bit of footage we've done at the beginning. And that, that just seems like Yesterday. a few weeks ago. Yeah. So what I'm going to show you now is uh, pretty much what we've been doing every day. And repeat it and repeat it and repeat it because <laughs> it's been pretty dull. And we've done a bit of a cost comparison as well. So wait for that bit at the end. Yeah. But it has given us a lot of time to go and catch up with family and friends, hasn't it? So yeah, we've been out and about all over the that's place. That's been good. Yeah. Really good. And we've met lots of nice people in the marina. But like I say, we'll catch up on that later on. Yeah. So, watch this. While we go to the pub. <laughs> so, it's our last night in the wheat sheaf, so... And it is miserable outside. So, we're going to take a, a quick walk up there while you're watching this. And we'll see you in a few minutes. See you at the pub. Toodaloo! Crick Marina is in the Midlands of England and about five miles east of the town of Rugby. We decided to stay here as you can walk to the village of Crick with all its pubs, cafes and a local shop. Come on then doggies! <laughs> it's a beautiful day. <laughs> uh, it was really frosty this morning, but we didn't get up early enough. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was hoping to come down the towpath because it's actually really quite muddy uh, to show you all the towpath, but we had an extra half an hour in bed. Yes, we did. <laughs> and the canal's actually like slightly frozen over, so we'll show you that. Yeah, and, and the marina's all yeah. frozen over. Yeah. Um, and that's the marina just behind us, but it actually takes um, a good five, five ten minutes, minutes. Yeah. it's about half a mile to walk to walk back down onto the canal because there isn't a bridge and then we show the little dog walk as well because it is lovely yeah there's some lovely walks around crick um some woods and a hill and things yeah. like that it's just really nice so now these two dogs are looking impatient so we better get going <laughs> there they are look <laughs> <laughs> so yeah oh raf doesn't know what to do it's muddy. I don't like it. Oh, look at his little paws. Come on. Oh, oh. Squelch, squelch. Go on. No, you're not filming. I am. Say hello, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Come on. <laughs> so we're at the top of Crack Hill, and it's a real, it's a real climb to get up in it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But somebody's run, been running up and down. I, yeah, I've run up and down it about 10 times. I've got Strava, the... Strava local <laughs> legend. Strava rounded. local legend, yeah. <laughs> it's hard enough to walk up it, I'll be honest. <laughs> Come on. Biscuits? Oh, that got in. Yeah, I know. 
wet paws. They've got wet paws, but clean paws. Goes a little doggies in front of the fire now, aren't you? Hey, do you enjoy that? Or to have unlimited electric. Voila. One of the big benefits about being in a marina is that you have full electric and so you can keep on top of your laundry. The bins are really close by, but getting rid of your rubbish. <laughs> that wasn't a bottle of wine. <laughs> and there's tumble dryers and even a bath in the laundry block. It's nice and warm in here. I know. What's really useful about Crick Marina is that you can get your car right up to the back of the boat. So it takes away any stress of bringing any coal, which is really heavy, or your shopping. Once we've walked the dogs and done our daily chores, we like to go to the little cafe, pickle and pie, and have a couple of cakes and some coffee. Our last night the reach is. And here we are, yes. <laughs> Been coming here probably about twice a week. Don't tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> Only for a couple a little bit but this is our favorite in the village there's three pubs in the village yeah but this is definitely our favorite isn't it yeah it's got a real nice feeling inside the staff knows yeah so they know what we drink already <laughs> yeah so that's been good and it's got a roaring fire which has been on most of the winter so yeah. it's been lovely let's not hang around out here no because it's windy and still raining and it's cold it's really <laughs> awful Finally, it was our planned day to leave the marina. So after our cuppers, we packed away the pram cover, went up to the electric, checked the oil and coolant, and started the way out of the marina. Yeah, is that you checking the oil? Engine key, please. Thank you. I've done this for so long! You're not used to it, are you? No! Yeah. Yeah, well, it just needs a fresh start. The day we decided to leave, the wind's really high and normally we wouldn't have moved, but we decided to go for it anyway, knowing it would be a bit dicey reversing out of the bay and making a turn back onto the cut. We waved goodbye to the marina staff and turned south along the Grand Union and headed off on our new adventure and our third year living on board narrowboat Thistle and Rose. Is it just you who's too proud to just behind us leaving the same time was Dave and Emma on narrowboat Frankie, which is also a brand new boat. We hope to see you again soon guys. You keep trying to hide. We had a few miles to cruise before going under the M1 motorway and approached the Watford Lock Flight, which was opened in 1814. The Lock Flight is made of seven locks in total and have a rise of 54 feet, so they're quite deep.
This is the last lock in the flight and there's a really sharp bend in the pound. Now I got this completely wrong due to the wind and it's not down to me being rusty, believe it or not. Come on, pick it up. Yes, please. Thank you. Have a good day. Yes, and you're on the road trip. Bacon sandwich? Yes, please. Okay, coming up. <laughs> Doggies, all right. See, she's not breaking them again. I don't think he's going to jump up like he did last year. No, it's too much effort. Yeah. <laughs> hey, doggies, Ralphie. So we worked out the costings for a marina, so it was in there five months. Yep. And the marina cost us about £1,400 for the five months, which is okay. Quite reasonable. And we spent about £30, £35 a month on... Electric. Electric. Uh, and that, that's it. That's all our costs. So compared to being out on the canals um, over winter, obviously when you're out on the canals, you have to have your engine on to charge your batteries. But, and last year it was on, it was on about three, sometimes four hours a day. Yeah, quite a lot. Um, now we've used no fuel in the marina, very little. Very little. Probably about 50 pounds worth just for the eating. The other thing you've got to consider, if you've got your engine on for, let's say three, four hours a day over five months, you're going to need a, an engine service Yeah. for that. So how many would we have needed? At least one. At least one, so that's what? If you get the guy in, Guy, you know, about 200 250 pounds for him to come and do that. So the cost actually probably weigh themselves out. Just yeah, obviously, it's more expensive in the marina yeah. because of the marina cost. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so not so bad. And this last year, or well, this winter just gone, the reason why we went into a marina was, was mainly for Rosie, but she was just a puppy. Yeah, and just for the dogs, and uh, we didn't fancy getting muddy on the towpath every single day with the dogs because it's just not nice for them but next year we may we'll probably stay stay out and what we're thinking we maybe do every alternate every year every alternate year yeah and just have a bit of a change but the, the fact is over the winter months we'll still have to go into a marina for christmas um we always go away on holiday our skiing holiday so yeah it was worth it and just the ability to have water on tap to get the cold I mean, last year we had to walk cold down the towpath, and sometimes that might have been a quarter of a mile, half a mile away and from it's the heavy. car, <laughs> and it's, it's a heavy thing. I think the electric's been a big thing, because uh, I've not been constantly having to switch lights off, or watch what we're charging and when, um, running the washing machine, yeah. and having tumble dryers in the marina was a huge plus. Yeah, what year. do you think? <laughs> Let's ask our viewers, what do you think? Have you done both and have you got a preference? I still prefer being out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll always say it. In a few days time, let's see what it's like <laughs> when the dogs are covered in mud. Well, two years ago at Easter weekend, it was 25 degrees and you can quite tell that I'm not dressed for 25 degree weather. I know Easter's early this year, but still. <laughs> so oh, these are little lambs. Oh, Look at the little lambs. They're tiny. Shall we call them Rosie and Ralph? Call them Sunday dinner. Uh. There's your favourite house. 
Isn't it beautiful? Thank you. Thank you. Brand new. Two years. Oh, Oh, it's great to be back. Oh, we have missed this, that's for sure. Right. The speed of them. I know, that's not tick over. Sorry, that's a higher boat going past us. He's, he's rocking. Clearly not a tick over. No, they are steaming past. Yep. Oh, and we bumped. Oh, there you go. That's what it does to you. I want to say a big shout out to a few people in the marina who we really got on with. And it was nice just stepping out of your boat and having a chat with people in the morning. Um, so Peter and Lee, I know that was a. I did want to say that was a. I'm, that was a band in the seventies. <laughs> but I just so, wasn't quick enough. Pete and Leon Narbo Bluebell. Yeah, really enjoyed having Pete. I really enjoyed a good chat natter with Pete. And Liz and her little dog Finley on Narbo Adagio. Yeah, who gets the most walks ever? <laughs> that little dog. And uh, Dave and Emma on Narbo Frankie. Yeah, and get out, guys. Yep. Life's Come on. Too, life's too short. Yeah. And the biggest shout out, obviously, to Mark, Mark and his team. And the team at Crick Marina. Who always made us feel really welcome. It's really a really welcome. nice marina to be in. So, cheers, guys. Really cheers. good to be back. And we'll see you next week. We will do. Toodaloo. <sighs> Not so bad. Not bad at all. Well, a bit rusty. <laughs> <laughs>